Let's make sure you are fully prepared for the Alex Math placement test. And uh, one of the ways you can be really ready for the Alex Math placement test is to know this hack. And I'm talking about a way where you can solve any equation. Now, of course, there is a twist on when you can use this hack, but I'll show you that as we get into this video. Now, if you are studying for the Alex Math placement test, check out my test prep course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. But let's get into this nice little equation hack. And we'll uh, use this little basic example right here, this basic equation as an example. So let's suppose you um, were asked to identify the solution for this equation, okay? So one way, you know, that you can approach uh, the problem is like, well, what is the solution to this equation? Well, that's just, you know, another way of saying solve the equation. Tell me what the answer is. So in this particular equation, we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 7. So to solve this equation, uh, you would have to add 1 to both sides. Okay, so here's the work for this particular equation. So I'm going to end up with um, 2x is equal to 8. Now I need to divide uh, both sides of the equation by 2. So I'm going to get x is equal to 4. Okay, so this is what I believe the solution to this equation. Now, if I did all the work correctly, I would be pretty confident in the solution. I would write this down on my paper, say x is equal to 4. Of course, you would show all your work. Now, this is what you would have to do if you had like an open-ended question. In other words, solve the equation and write your answer down. Okay, but guess what? Those of you who are uh, taking any sort of math course, there are a ton of questions that are not open-ended on your test and quizzes, okay? They are different type of questions. There are multiple choice questions, okay? Multiple choice, we love multiple choice. So anytime you see questions like A, B, uh, C as different options, well, that's when you really want to get excited and you want to perk up and you're like, you know, get a nice little happy face because this is going to really increase your odds of doing much, much better, uh, especially if you're not quite sure whether you did a problem right. But let's go back to this problem here for a second. So I solved this equation and I got X is equal to four. OK, so I'm like, hmm, did I do this right? Well, you can always check your work when you're solving any equation in algebra. Let's go ahead and uh show you how this is done. Okay, so let's suppose here I have x is equal to 4 and I wanted to check my work. Well, you need to know how to check a solution in any equation. So how do you do that? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to replace that variable for what you believe the solution is. So here I think uh, the solution is x is equal to 4. I did all my work right here. Okay, now everything looks good and I got x is equal to four, but we can verify that and you need to know how to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace that variable x for what I think the solution is four. And when I do that, I'm gonna get two times four minus one is equal to seven. So what are we doing here? Well, when you're um, verifying a solution or checking a solution, what we're gonna to try to do is we're gonna do all this math on the left-hand side right here and we're going to compare it to the number that's on the right-hand side. In this case, we have 7. So let's go ahead and see what happens when I do this math. So 2 times 4 is 8. So i got 8 minus 1. Well, 8 minus 1 is 7. Now, there's nothing for me to do um, on the left-hand side. I did all the math, so I, I'm going to compare that to the number that's on the right-hand side. Okay, so it was 7 equal to 7. Well, this is a true statement, okay? So because this is true, because the left is equal to the right and the number that um, that you plugged in that created that situation is, in fact, the solution. So 4, x is equal to 4, is, in fact, a good solution. OK, so this is how you check uh, solutions in two equations, basic algebra. But again, what we're talking about here is what do you do on a multiple choice test? Well, let's take a look at another example. So this technique that I'm, um, or this little trick that I'm telling you, it's really not even a trick, a little hack. I'm telling you right now, a ton of students forget this, okay? So if you remember this, on it doesn't make a difference what type of equation you're dealing with. Here, we have a quadratic equation. Uh, the previous example was a basic a linear equation. You can have systems of equations, uh, logarithmic equations. You can have any sort of um, equation, advanced, much more advanced equations than this. This is going to help. 
Here's what you want to do. So first of all, look at the problem. Okay, so if the problem it involves an equation, okay, and there's multiple choices right there, well, these questions you should always get right 100% of the time. So when you're scanning the questions on your test or quizzes and you see multiple choice and an equation, there's absolutely no excuse for you to get this problem um, wrong. Now, what you can do right here uh, is you look at the problem, uh, x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. So what are our choices here? Well, you can solve this problem, okay? You could do the work, da 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 and look to, you know, let's say you have your solutions right here, and then you're going to basically look at which one of these options, A, B, or C, has your solutions, okay? Now that is the pr uh, preferable way of doing this uh, problem. But let's suppose you didn't know how to solve this. Let's say you looked at this question and you're like, hmm, let's see here, you're scratching your head and you're like, I don't remember how to solve this. Well, no problem because you remember this little video that you're watching here. So what we can do is check the solutions, okay? We could just check the solutions right into this equation using this technique I just showed you, okay? Or just a reminder of how to verify solutions into equation and then just by a process of elimination, see which one is correct. So let's go ahead and do that now. Before we continue with the video, I wanna tell you about my Alex Math Placement course. So as a math teacher, as someone who's been teaching for decades, I really built what I think is one of the most comprehensive Alex Math test prep courses anywhere. So uh, I basically go through basic math, algebra, advanced algebra, and trigonometry. So this is going to get you extremely prepared to do well on the Alex uh, exam. I'm gonna leave a link to this course in the description of this video. So check it out after uh, this video finishes, but let's get back to the problem. So we'll start off with this first option, um, A. So here we're saying that x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 0 is a solution. So let's go ahead and check uh, this solution, and we'll start off with x is equal to 1. So that means I'm going to replace the x's with 1. So I'm going to put, instead of x squared, this is going to be 1 squared minus 2x, or 2 times 1. I'm plugging in this value into this equation. I'm going to see... If when I do this math here, does it match up to the right-hand side? So let's do this real quick. So 1 squared is what? That's 1 uh, minus 2 times 1 is 2. So is this going to be equal to 3? Well, 1 minus, is, uh, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. That is not equal to 3. So guess what? 1 is not a solution. 1 is not a solution. So because 1 is not a solution, I, I could just throw out this whole um uh, answer A, okay, no way this, I don't have to check X is equal to zero. Now, let's just be smart about this here. X is equal to one is not a solution. So when I'm looking at my other answers, I see X is equal to one down here for um, uh, choice C. So X is equal to one is not a solution, X is equal to one. So guess what? A and C are out, okay? <laughs> that leaves me with choice uh, B. Now, if I wanted to be kind of mean about it, I could put D none of the above, okay? And none of these choices right here. So let's just keep that option. So you're saying, all right, uh, so A is out. I don't even have to check X is equal to zero because this is wrong. And now here I have X is equal to negative one. Uh, so let's go ahead and now check uh, uh, for uh, choice B, okay? So it's either B or none of the above. I'll put that option in there just to make this exciting. So let's go ahead and uh, plug in these values. So we'll start off with negative 1. So negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1. Is that equal to 3? Well, let's go ahead and do this math. Negative 1 squared is negative 1 times negative 1. That's positive 1. Uh, then we have minus 2 times negative 1, this is going to be a positive 2. This is like a negative 2 times negative 1 or positive 2. So is 1 plus 2 equal to 3? Yes. 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 is equal to 3. So x equal to negative 1 is a good solution. But we still have to check this solution here. x is equal to 3 because if this doesn't work, well then it's not going to be uh, none of these options. So let's go ahead and quickly check this. And you can see, you know, checking solutions really um, 
you could do this pretty quickly even without the aid of a calculator. So let's go and plug in 3 into this. So this would be 3 squared, and we're replacing this x with the 3, minus 2 times 3. Is that equal to 3? So what do I have here? 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 2 times 3 right here is 6. So is 9 minus 6 uh, 3? Well, 9 minus 6 is, in fact, 3. 3 is equal to 3. That works. So this is good. So uh, B is, in fact, the correct choice here. So you would select that, and you would just ace this question, okay, without even knowing how to do this. Now, a lot of you out there are like, this is so obvious. This is like common sense. I'm telling you, at least the uh, 50% of math students, probably even a higher percentage, and I'm talking about um, top-notch math students, you know, that, you know, do really, really well, they forget this on test. They forget, anytime you're dealing with a multiple choice test, they forget to use this technique, okay? And they'll be like, well, if I can't solve this, if I can't just directly solve this and then identify my answers, well, then I should just skip this question. Well, no, never, never do that, okay? On a math test, all right, if you see equations and multiple choice, those are questions that you should mark for, you know, make sure you absolutely give yourself enough time to, um, you know, spend on those questions because, again, you should get these questions right 100% of the time. So I hope this video helped you out, and if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, there is a lot of math on the Alex Math Placement Test. And you don't want to go in there uh, underprepared because that will have uh, negative uh, consequences as you really do want to place into the best math course for you. So make sure to check out my Alex Math Test Prep course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description of this video. And with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.